Hey guys, this video is on surface area and volume on composite shapes or composite solids. Uh, a composite solid is just when there is uh, more than one uh, solid three-dimensional shape that's put together to make a new shape. And the way we do that is we calculate the surface area of each individual shape and then add them together. Or we calculate the volume of each individual shape and then we add them together. So the easiest way to um, demonstrate this is with a couple of examples. So in this example, we're going to try and find the surface area and the volume of this shape. So we'll start with surface area. Uh, so I'm going to imagine this shape, we'll call this um, uh, surface area one, and we'll call this one surface area two. So let's start with surface area one. Now, that's just a rectangular prism. Uh, but it just doesn't have the top uh, layer on top of it. So if we start with the sides, uh, we have 42 times 35, which would be this side and this side. So we've got to times that by two. Then we've got the front, which would be nine times 35. And the front is the same as the back. So we'll times that one by two. And then finally, we've got the bottom which is nine times 42. Now we don't times by two because we can't actually see the top of this shape. So we'll just leave it as that. So we've quickly put that in our calculator. And I get 3,948 centimeters squared. So that's surface area one. Now we've just got to do the surface area of this cylinder. Well, actually it's half a cylinder, but we can just do it as a whole cylinder and then divide it by two. So we recall that the surface area of a cylinder, that rule is two pi r squared plus two pi r h. And that formula will be found on your formula sheet uh, when you're sitting your HSC exam. So two times pi times my radius. Now my radius is halfway across the circle, which would only be half a nine. So we've got 4.5 there. So 4.5 squared plus two times pi times my radius again, times by my height. Now the height of the cylinder is this length here, which we know to be 42. Okay, now we quickly put that all in our calculator. And I get uh, 1,314. Uh, 0.7. So we'll round that up to 1,315. Okay, now our total surface area is SA1 plus SA2, which we can quickly add together to get our final answer of 5,263 centimeters squared. Now, that's our surface area. Our volume is the same thing we're going to call this one volume one and this one volume two. Now volume one is just the front area, which is nine times 35 times by how far back it goes, which is 42. So we're really just timesing the numbers all together when we do rectangular prisms. Uh, which we get 13,200 and 30 centimeters cubed. Our volume two, well, that's a cylinder, pi r squared times height, but we've only got half of the cylinder, so we'll stick a little half out the front. So we've got half times pi times my radius, which is 5.2, times by my height, which is 42 again. Whoop. So we quickly put that in my calculator. 
and I get 1,336. We'll round that up. And again, our total volume is just the volume of the rectangular prism plus the volume of our cylinder, which we have come out to be 1,000, oh, 14,000, sorry, 566 centimeters cubed. So it looks like a lot of work, but if we break it up into the little compartment components, we can, we can um, figure out how to do that. Let's do one more example. So, surface area. Again, we're gonna do surface area of this shape, and then we're gonna do the surface area of this pyramid. Uh, now, we're gonna make an assumption here that this is 38, uh, 48 centimeters here, because it wasn't labeled. Uh, okay, so 48 centimeters. So our surface area at the start, well, let's do the front, which is gonna be 18 times 48. Now, the back is the same and the sides are the same. So we can times that one by four. And then the only part of that rectangular or square prism that we need to do is the base which is 48 squared since it's a square base. Now again, we don't have to do the top of it because we can't actually see the top of it because of this pyramid that's sitting on top. So that's all we're gonna do for that one. And we get 5,760 centimeters squared. Now, to do the surface area of this Pyramid, usually we would do 48 squared, but we've already done that from the bottom of the whole shape. So now we just have to do our four triangles on the side, which is four times half times base times height, where this is my base and my height is labeled here. Okay, so we can just put that in our calculator and I get 2,400. Whoops. My total surface area now is just the surface area plus this one, which gives me 7,000. No, why am I trying to do that in my head? 8,000. 160 centimeters squared. All right, let's try and do the volume, just like before. This is my volume one, this is my volume two. So my volume one is just gonna be 48 times 48 times 18, which gives me 41,472 centimeters cubed. Now, my volume two. We recall to find the volume of a pyramid, we do a third times the area at the bottom, which would be 48 squared, times my height. Now, what is my height? It's not 28, uh, 25 because that's my slant height, we need to figure out this height here. Okay. From the middle down to the middle of that box down the bottom. So we need to do a bit of Pythagoras. And we know this length here is half of 20, uh, 48, so that's 24 here. So we have, I'll just work down here. We've got this is 25. This is 24. So we have 25 squared minus 24, since we're finding a shorter side, we'll call this X equals X squared. So X is the square root of all of this. 
So we can quickly put that in our calculator. And we get our answer to be seven. So that is my height. All right. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and put that in our calculator. And I get 5,376 centimeters cubed. To find that total volume, we just add these together. Volume one plus volume two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And we get our final answer of 46,848 centimeters cubed. There we go the volume and the surface area of composite shapes. Thanks guys.